If it's, it's in fashion, it's, it's in, in the fold. fold. <laughs> My name is Melissa Halverson. I'm a professional lecturer at Marist College in Poughkeepsie, New York, uh, in the fashion department. Um, for the last two semesters, I've been working with uh, five really talented students, among other um, collaborators on campus, to create what's become The Fold. started out as a concept called Fashion in the Cloud, and it was designed to utilize the OAE and implement student and faculty developed MOOCs, or free online courses. And also, uh, we were tasked with doing those two things as well as creating a presence in Manhattan. We're about an hour and a half outside of um, New York City and um, have long wished to have a stronger footing at New York Fashion Week. Um, all of which we have achieved um, and we were able to launch the fold. Um, what we like to say is an experience, um, not a website, at um, New York Fashion Week in February of 2014. We implemented uh, a menu of uh, faculty MOOCs as well as what we think is the world's first peer-to-peer -peer MOOC called the Future of Fashion and that was um, a course entirely created by students using Sakai and administered by them, monitored by them, which also had an OAE component. Um, part of the assessment of the um, of the MOOC was based on um, participants' use of the OAE library and uh, creating a document that would then be displayed there and could be peer assessed. It, at times it was incredibly intense because the stakes were very high and it was a real world um, success or failure scenario. Um, and that's unusual to encounter, even in the college setting. Um, it was much more like an internship than it was a course, in the sense that uh, you know anything could happen, and deadlines needed to be met. And they had to make their own appointments. They had to make their own professional relationships. Uh, there, nobody's hand was held um, at, at any point, and I think that that was really empowering. The Fold Project was really unique in that we really had complete freedom to do what we wanted with it. We had these main goals that we knew we wanted to achieve, but we really didn't know how to get there. So we broke up into teams and we figured out the way to make it a reality. I think the other interesting aspect of the class was that our teachers were no longer teaching us, that we taught each other things, that, you know, um, taught them our perspective. They, you know, instruct, not, didn't instruct us anymore, but we more collaborated, I think, was this, the really rewarding aspect of it. What I would identify as, like, the, the most unique aspect of it is that we were building something from the ground up as opposed to uh, as opposed to working with a preset system and a preset curriculum. Everything was built from scratch. And so initially when we first went to the class, it was like, what do we, what do we want to make of this? And so it was a very, it was a very personal, uh, personal journey because it was exactly what you wanted to put into it is what you got out of it. And it was a lot more engaging um, than other classes, definitely. You weren't always asked questions and, and when you were, like it was, it, there was no definite answer and you got to make your own and do whatever you felt was right um, and you didn't always have to defend if it was right. There was no one to tell you that you were wrong because it was all your own and you were able to be creative in a way that you would never be able to be before. Yeah, I think also because there was no precedent to it, there was no class, we were the first people to ever try something like this, so I think what Amanda said, we had complete freedom to just really go for it and do what we wanted to do. Well, the scope of the project was massive. Um, we originally were asked to use the, uh, the OAE uh, to create a new Marist skin for the OAE, and in so doing, that team, that student team that was tasked with that, realized that they really wanted even more input into how the OAE could be used um, to our ends. So the entire visual experience sort of had to be redesigned. Certainly it's a visual medium, uh, fashion is, and it's nothing, you, you don't get visitors unless it looks interesting and intriguing. And so that was a conceptual battle, I think, that we had um, the entire year. Working with OAE was interesting. Uh, it was a pleasure because it was, it was, it was nice to be able to be a pilot um, a pilot program for, for the OAE, um, but you know we had moments of difficulties, we had moments of frustration, uh, simply because 
the OAE wasn't designed specifically to work with the fashion audience. So it was our job to make the best of it um, in communicating with the fashion audience and resonating with the fashion audience. I think collaboration is a really great thing that OAE, OAE has accomplished because when we said in our presentation we really utilized it to share our ideas and really um, comp like collaborate and compromise on what we wanted it to look like. So if we found a website that we liked, we uploaded it and everyone could see it. So I really enjoyed the way that we could really, really interact with each other. Sakai was a really great application for hosting the MOOCs. Um, the Lesson Builder tool just made it really easy to integrate multimedia, text, quizzes, and forums to make it easier for the students to collaborate and it really helped us to achieve the peer-to-peer -peer MOOC, which we were hoping to do. We can intend to have our coursework and our life's work and our relationship with students be really meaningful. Um, we always want that. And I, in my other courses, have very well-defined goals to be met at the end of the semester, and I have a scaffolded um, set of lessons that will get everyone there. This was so much different from that. I didn't have the answers. I didn't have the steps to get where we needed to go. Um, we found them together, and it was really exciting to let it go, <laughs> to put it on to have this team, and they just happen to be students, you know, um, to, to cede some of that control to the student, and it is something I hope to employ in the rest of my coursework.